First and foremost, there are different metrics around leverage. I think you're seeing most condominium developments really can't get beyond a 50 to 60 percent loan to cost. So there should be much more equity cushion. So the first people I think to feel the pain obviously always are the sponsors of the equity holders, but there's less pressure from banks. Overall in the market, we are probably down year over year 20 percent but the market still seems to be on pace to achieve 12,000 units, which is sort of consistent with the average of the last 10 years of sales. And of course, those last 10 years takes you through the last market cycle. Uh, well, I started my own business. I don't know if you want to call that a lesson or not. We've been very measured in how we've deployed capital and taken on risk. Uh, and I think I've said before, and we've maintained that pretty consistently, that. We're not aggressive at all in how we seek to finance our, our investment endeavors. And with respect to leverage, we stick to balance sheet relationship lenders, no Wall Street or CMBS executions, and we really don't avail ourselves of either mezzanine financing or preferred equity or any really gearing of cap stacks. So we've been able to make really good deals and generate a lot of return for ourselves and for our investors by using conservative financing and conservative leverage. You're now seeing lenders starting to pull back somewhat and constrain liquidity in office and value at office. And that's a challenge because that's typically, that's a real bread and butter part of the market. This has been a slow leasing year. A Midtown West technology sector and Lower Manhattan all seem to be doing well. And I think there's been a lot of big leases done in new neighborhoods like Hudson Yards, you've seen great activity over there, but Midtown is slow. You know, we opened our sales office in mid-June. Since then, we have achieved about 40% sales. We are averaging close to 30, between 33 and $3,400 a foot. And interestingly enough, uh, our first two sales were the biggest units in the building, the penthouses. Local, local. This, this is a New York building for New Yorkers. We've had three bold-faced real estate names purchase at the building, uh, which is also, that's, that's kind of a nice compliment in and of itself. Well, as their landlord, we're rooting for them. I think it's an interesting valuation. Uh, it's a pretty high valuation. I'm not going to comment on that other than we leased to them. We've invested in them by virtue of our concession period and our tenant improvement contributions, uh, and we think they'll do very well in our building. We're all cautiously optimistic. I think the first order of business would be to figure out a traffic solution for 57th Street, 5th Avenue, and 56th Street, especially since I'm on 56th Street right now. But we'll see if there is this great commitment to his rollout of infrastructure improvements uh, that should create a sense of excitement in the country, should create a lot more opportunity in terms of job growth, wage growth, and more money into the system. I also think that we'll continue to keep construction costs high, as one would think that that would be, you get into supply-demand equations of a labor force. But I guess the flip side of it is, it's, it's a major contributor to a nationwide economy, and, and there has to be some economic growth countrywide, so that's very important. <music>